Why does it matter? I'm I'm You're plastic. Dead asshole. You're dead. Whoa! Whoa! What is he doing? Whoa! Oh, I hit him back. Run! Whoa! What was that about? Warning, this game contains bad stuff, foul language, nudity, sex, violence, alcohol, drug use, Oxford commas, overall just a lot of shady stuff, people being total dicks to each other under no circumstances should you attempt to do anything in these games in real life, if you are under the age of 18, you should not play this game, blah 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 blah, house party was created by a diverse team of super awesome men and women of various beliefs and cultures, this game was meant to be silly and fun. All characters portrayed in this game are fiction. Blah, 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 blah. All characters portrayed in this game are over the age of 18. I mean, their fictional age is over 18. Fuck, this is confusing. You know what I meant. What's going on, y'all? Jay Studio coming at you with another video. Coming at you with some house party. Uh, this game came out a couple years ago. Uh, it's about trying to get some punani, really. Like, you're at a party and you're trying to smash everybody at the party i'm gonna try to keep this game as clean as possible uh, um if you want to see me make this a series and you want to see me keep playing this game subscribe 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 that's the best way to support this channel shout out to terrence games tv i'll leave a, his uh screenshot in his comment he commented on my last video and it really had me weak he said you can't fight for real if you want to get your comment featured on my channel just leave a comment um i read through all my comments i respond um, and I'll screenshot it and put it in the video. Uh, with that being said, follow me on Instagram at JCDO Gaming. Let's do this! There's a party at Madison Place tonight, and you've been invited by your buddy Derek. Sure, he's the only person you know, but as long as you walk into Madison Place, you see a lot of people worth getting familiar with. Hey, and with your luck, this place is packed with plenty of sexy goers. Maybe you should see how familiar you can get with somebody tonight. Hell, why stop at one? This town not big enough, not big on monogamy anyways. But first, go check out Derek. Okay, so this is the party, huh? Stephanie, Derek, Derek. What's your sign? Hey, buddy, glad you can make it. This Just music is. Warning. My friends are a little, should I say, eccentric. They're cool though. Make yourself at home and introduce yourself around. You are like a fake ass Tyrese, fake ass H and M model. Thanks for inviting coming, me to the buddy. party. I'm really glad you came. It's been a rough week. I was looking forward to hanging with you. Rough, rough week. Is everything okay? Uh, it's not worth getting into right now. Let's just relax and enjoy ourselves. I hate when people do that, bro. Like, don't come at me and say, um, oh my God, jeez, I swear what happened yesterday was so crazy. And I'm like, what happened? And you're like, oh, it's nothing, it's nothing. Then don't tell me, don't tell me that. Sounds good, buddy. I've known you too long to let this go. a lot of things, man. Family stuff mostly, but also some girlfriend problems. I mean that is girl problems and friend problems all bundled into one. Fun fucking stuff. That's about as specific as I'm gonna get right now. Thanks for looking out, buddy. But let's leave it. I don't like how you keep calling me buddy. And I hate that his shirt is like button this shit up, bro. Oh, oh, what's your story? Hey, I'm Stephanie. Like, what's up? What's up with you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> OMG, I like, love this song. I hate motherfuckers like this. What do you do for work? I'll see you around. You look like you're having fun. This party's okay, but I really wish I could do some whippets. This bitch on some other shit. You want, some, you want whippets? Well, I get kind of crazy on whippets. If you like my dance moves now, you haven't seen anything yet. What the fuck is whippets? I know what they are, but let me see what A whippet is the actual process of inhaling nitrous oxide from small compressed canisters or compressed cans of whipped cream to obtain a momentary high. She said that shit like Siri. <laughs> be honest, you be. Okay, that response was I quite get, like, uncharacteristic. Totally serious when it comes to drugs. Okay, crackhead. I don't even want to talk to her no more. Let's see. What do you do for work? I get Chubby's, that sports bar with all the greasy food and the, you know, topless waitresses. 
Okay, that's a great place. Great for you, maybe. There's only so many times you can hear the same jokes over and over again. I'd order the footlong, but I already have one through here. <laughs> but at least I get to take home a free meal every night. Which, ironically, is usually a footlong because they're pretty good. And long. Okay. Let's, let's talk to other people. What's up with you? Did you need something? Yeah, I was trying to get to know you. I like your glasses. Oh, so if I weren't wearing glasses, I'd just be some dumb bitch? You're not doing yourself any favors, dude. I have other shit to do if you don't mind. Fuck you, bitch. I hate you now. Stupid ass. Huh? What's on your shirt? Stupid ass deer on your shirt. I know this was dumb to do, but I oh, stuck my hello. hand in the bug. Hi, I'm Ashley. I'm Madison's sister. Nice Who's to meet Ma you. Where's Madison? Who's Madison? Damn, I wish I was cross that so I could see you twice. <laughs> I'm gonna be nice right now. So Ashley, are well, you a co-host? Madison would ever call me that, but I do live here too, so call it. What oh, you, you want. live here? Okay, yeah, because Madison is the person that throws the party. Cold You're serious. sweet. I'm here if you have any questions about the crowd, including yours truly. As co-host of this evening, I'd be super bummed if you felt left out or whatever. Damn, motherfuckers just walking through our conversation. Tell me about the guests. We've got all sorts here. I can't lie, most of these folks are Madison's friends, but they've taken me into their group too, which I'm sure Madison this just like a wet right here. But yeah, like everyone's pretty cool. It's except sure for like, Frank. Who is Frank? Well, like, I don't know who you've met and who you haven't. There's Stephanie, Catherine, Rachel, Amy. These are all people that Madison knows through school. It's Patrick's our cousin, which is pretty much the only reason he's here. And right. Frank, who's got no reason to be here. Who's Frank? Oh, and there's Derek too, who knows my sister somehow. He's your friend, right? Yeah. He's not my friend. We're in a party hook up. I love to hear that. Like, he seems like a good guy to have in your life. And if he thinks the same about you, then you must be worth getting to know better. <laughs> uh, Patrick, you just can't say that shit. We're more than just that. Fuck, man. Oh. The, huh? I meant the whole truth about my sight and how it can liberate. Like oh, shoes. man, bro, not that women are holes. I mean, they have them. Now, this is getting good. I'm weak. She missed completely. Oh, my God. I'm weak. I'm trying to talk to him now. Oh, you good, bro? Oh, bro, you finally arrived. I've been waiting since... Wait, you're not that guy I met at the bus stop? Sorry, I'm seeing double. You're a new bra. What's up? I'm Patrick, a.k.a. Party Pat, a.k.a. Pat the Frat, a.k.a. Patty Mayonnaise. You got the shit slapped out of you. What was Yeah, that? that was something else. That Rachel, she's a firecracker. <laughs> it was cool how she did that where people could see. I'm a broadvocate for transparency. One of these days, long after we've settled our differences, her and I will look back on this night and laugh. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga faded. What's the problem with you two? Mm, I should probably talk to somebody about it. Mom always said, take advice when it's given. That and just because he lives here doesn't mean he's your father. Ah. Rachel's Krav Bra training has really paid off because this pain is unreal. Before I go saying anything, I gotta find something to make this pain go away. Maybe I can My help bra out. bra coming through in the clutch. If you see some pain meds rolling around somewhere, grab them. Okay. Let me see what he about. Oh, this is Frank. Okay. How's it going, dude? What's up? Wait, you're not drunk, are you? Why does it matter to you? I'm sober. I'm plastered. Dude, I've had 12 shots. I'm gonna go drink orange juice. Why does it matter? I'm I'm plastered. You're dead asshole. You're dead. Whoa! Whoa! What is he doing? Whoa! Oh, I hit him back. Run! Whoa! What was that about? Oh, he doesn't stop. Oh, so he doesn't stop. This man is trying to get me. Oh my god. Wait. Oh, you're, you're Madison. Derek's friend, right? Hey, I'm Madison. 
This is uh, my party. Thanks for letting me come. Oh, yeah, don't mention it. Derek was all, hey, I have this friend who doesn't know anybody because he just moved here, and I promise he's not a dick. And Derek and I are kind of in the middle of this. Doesn't matter. And I didn't want to make things weirder, so I was like, sure, bring your friend. So, yeah, glad you could come. Oh, you like, you like black meat. I'm sorry, that was rude. My head is everywhere. You know that feeling when you love hosting parties until you're actually in the middle of hosting one? Then you remember people are the worst, and your cousin has a serious alcohol problem, and that you definitely should have brought more food. Y'all playing the same music on repeat, motherfucker. You're doing fine. That's a cool thing to say, even if you are just trying to win brownie points. I'm weak. That's always been such a weird phrase to me, brownie points. What the hell are those anyway? She's just rambling. Ha ha ha. That was a really bad dad joke, but I appreciate the effort. Anyway, it was good talking to you and meeting you. I gotta get back to the party, but we come should find get me to later know each other's and genitals. we can get to know each other some more. Maybe t Most definitely. Ah. Took her camera. I'm taking everybody's shit. What's up? What else is up here? Oh. How you doing? Why are you just sitting here by yourself? I'm Brittany. How are you? There's a party going on. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm just... Well, it's kind of embarrassing. I just bought this new top and, well, I've always been endowed with rather large, well, you know. <laughs> I'm just really self-conscious about it. I'm not sure I can bring myself to go out there. Why are you, why are you even here? Like, why oh, are some of these people you. even here? That makes me feel a little better. Let me How's talk going, to him dude? again. Wait, you're not drunk, are you? I'm completely Good. sober. I'm straight edge. And I can't stand assholes who get drunk at parties. I feel it's like my civic duty to beat the ever-loving shit out of anybody I see with a drink. My contribution helps make this world better. So you're, you just don't want nobody to get drunk then. So that's his thing. Hiding by the alcohol. He doesn't want you to get drunk. Frank Harbor heard somebody saying they have alcohol. What should we do? I'm going to go get some drugs. Too many. Madison, I just said I have a test. Hey, what's up oh, with you? Hey, I'm Amy. I'm right here, Amy. Look, come over here. Hey, Amy, it's nice to meet you. I lost my phone number. Oh, I ain't gonna say that. I'm gonna say Why, this. Thank you. The pleasure's all mine. There you go. I was my phone number. You look pretty pensive. What's on your mind? Uh, yeah, I guess I have been kind of spacing out. Well, it's just that I'm new in town and I'm trying to join a sorority. They got me doing a scavenger hunt as an initiation. It's due tomorrow, and I don't have a lot of the items still. I'm thinking about maybe leaving the party and seeing if I can finish it up. A lot of the items on the list are kind of, well, embarrassing to say the least. And I don't know too many people here that well. Why are y'all here? I can help you out. I'm awesome at finding things. Fuck that. Oh, wow. Okay, then. Maybe I'll stick around for a bit and see what we can get accomplished. Sure Thank thing. you. I don't understand. I don't understand why these some of these people are here. Who are you? I don't believe we've met. I'm Rachel. Nice to meet you, Rachel. What's your sign? How do you know Madison? How do you know Madison? I actually don't know her all that well anymore. We were friends from school for a while, but we kind of drifted apart. Why are you here? She wants me to invite my friend Vicky to the party. And I think that's why she invited me. Who's Vicky? Come to think of it, how do you know Madison? I don't think I've seen you around before. How did you uh, even get invited to this party? I rescued her from a burning building. This is a video game. Just relax and roll with it. We're fuck buddies, obviously. Who would want a piece of this? I'm Derek's friend, but you didn't. Didn't you see us chatting? He invited me because I never caused problems for him or her or him or ever. This is. A, I'm gonna say I this is a that video makes sense. game. I'm weak. We'll pick this up later. Uh, do you have? Uh, what's up? What's up? Are you enjoying yourself at the party? I was having an okay time until fucking Frank stole my thermos He said it looked like something I could hide booze in it and that he was confiscating it 
Frank's a dick. It's just something we have to accept. I don't know this nigga yet. But I don't like that. Like, why are you at a party and you're taking drink uh, alcohol away from people? Like, just go somewhere. Oh, that would be amazing. So I guess I gotta go talk to Frank now. Who's this? Okay, this is Madison. Hey again. Are you lost? What's Frank's problem? So... Frank is an odd guy. He's on that whole straight edge kick, and he's apparently taking everybody along with him. He's ruining my party because we're all fucking sober. I don't even know who invited him, but I'm afraid to ask him to leave. So you gonna love me? I, I, I ain't gonna say that. I'm trying to get some punani, and we are on a mission, so I gotta talk to him. How's it going, dude? Staying away from the alcohol? Come on, Frank, still in from drugs. Look, dude. There's a chance there's alcohol in that there thermos. I need to take that very seriously. I can't check it myself because just the smell of alcohol makes me sick. I can check it for you. I can't argue with a bulletproof logic. Uh, I can check it for you. Not for nothing, though, but I don't know you well enough. Maybe if you could prove to me that you could be... Tr I'll do my best, Frank. But there you were. Rolling across the stage in that wheelchair of yours that you only had to use for like six months tops, and you barely ever drool anymore. Slurps. Yeah, my brain works good. Easy, now. dude. This will be your first and only warning that any handling of alcohol will result in a firm act of disciplinary action, which will most definitely involve either my fists or my apprentice Leah's fists making repeated contact with your face. Oh, you know, she'd freak. Ah, bro, I shoot your no, dumb ass. Shut Madison. the fuck up. That's obviously just a uh, Madison's. Who have I not talked to yet? I talked to them. I talked to her. I talked to him. Oh, I ain't talked to you. How you doing? Yo, I'm Leah. What's Leah, up? as in, I'm gonna leave your ass in the third if you try anything at this party tonight. Did that? Did that sound badass? Shit, I gotta practice what Sensei Frank taught me. Oh, so you fight for dude. Sensei Frank, you know the big bald guy who sits downstairs holding down the fort? Guy who whistles show tunes when nobody's around? I know Frank. I just had no idea he was since uh, Sensei, sorry. Oh, alright then. Well, speaking of, I gotta hit up Frank real quick. He's got me on patrol, and I gotta go report to him on 5 minute increments. Thing is, I left my phone at the gym, so I've been counting in my head. It's been exactly five minutes, or like. He got you on lockdown. I wonder how much he paying you. I'm talking to him. I'm so drunk, bruh. What can I do to help? I've got a splitting headache, bruh. I... Okay. So I gotta get him some um aspirin. I talked to all of them already. Uh, I need to find some pills or right, some uh, stuff. Let me talk to her again. Hey again, how's it going? Look, you're here all by yourself again. I don't have a library card, but can I check you out? What do you think of Amy? Oh, she is just adorable walking around Who's in Amy? that little bumblebee outfit. Oh, that's I'd Amy. I'd be lying okay. if I said I wasn't curious to see what's underneath it. Oh, It'll just be our little secret, though. <laughs> okay, you're up again. I know, I know. I just can't bring myself to go out there. Maybe if there was a way I could be sure I wouldn't be the center of attention, I might be persuaded to come out. Okay, so what I'm noticing is all of these people have like like missions and like little things that you they want you to do for them. So the drunk dude wants you to get him some pain kills, killers. Oh wait, what's that? Is that a snake? It's not my fault that kid got arrested. I only supplied. Oh. Dies from an overdose of a combination of cocaine and alcohol. That's a snake. So that's why this is locked. In the case of my cousin, little Corbin. Okay. Okay. So the center of attention thing with Brittany is probably me letting that snake out. You said deep throat bass. Who are you talking How's it to, going, my nigga? Dude? Staying away from the alcohol? Frank Arbor heard. Uh, my Your buddy, buddy Derek is a wise man. I wish I could say the same about his little brother. What? Wait, guy? wait. 
You're the guy, right? You what know man? the guy. Hey, uh, a former business partner recently mentioned Derek had a friend who was a beer pong legend. He told the tale of when this party god made a last minute game winner right between the boobs of this banging boobs. looking broad. Boobs! Oh, this boob! Guy was described to look just like you. You know, a nondescript bitch ass looking motherfucker. Bro, fuck you. Yeah, that was me. <sighs> look, props to you as a natural born boob bouncing athlete, but. I can't go handing out free booze to anybody just so they can relive their beer pong glory days. You should have moved past those days anyway. I mean, look at me. Living my best fucking life over here. If you were in the inner circle of my security team, maybe it'd be a different story. But for right now, dude, you're going to have to just move it along and live off that legacy. Why are you at this party, bro? If you like my dance moves now, you haven't seen- Wow, I'm impressed. You don't know? Well, I guess it is a Wait, pretty well kept secret. Oh. Playing this magical craft. It was so powerful, I could even feel this, you know, warmth rising through the bus seats and into my body. It was Ugh. incredible. Actual warm, wet energy was coming from his seat and onto mine. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. That was that was piss. That was pee pee. Oh, you know it. I had to, of course, prove I was worthy of connecting with my sky animal, which wasn't that hard actually. Howling Wolf said my mind was prepared, but I needed to give him two hundred dollars to appease the Great Space Tool Shed where all the sky animals live. I paid my dues, and next thing you know, I was meeting my very own sky animal. Ooh. Gives me goosebumps just thinking about it. He finessed your stupid ass. I'm worried about. Ouch! Ugh, stop my toe! How come it's always the worst freaking thing? Oh, Amy, I totally feel you. That's the worst. You know, a good way to get over a stub toe is to take any basic painkiller and crush them up into a fine powder. Mix that with any horse tranquilizer you may have laying around, then snort that powder through a rolled up bill. But make sure it's larger than 20. After that, you won't remember the pain. Or the rest of the night. She a fucking drug addict, bro. Um, thanks, Stephanie. I'll do just that. Well, Amy, maybe you should look for friends elsewhere. Please. I've been please, trying to give this to you the whole time, bitch. The last thing you want from a topless bar and grill is recognizing the face at Buck Whippets. Great find. Some may say the most wonderful thing in life is watching a beautiful sunset. But to me, there's nothing better than inhaling compressed gas, baby. Gets me feeling all sorts of sexy. Good but to really, know. Good it's to just know. an appetizer. You want to see just how horny I can get? Whoa! Get into this situation. Ugh, just thinking about it makes me want to get back onto the dance floor. Okay. Um. Lovely's after. But when I came to. How's it going? Oh, I, bro? I forgot. I got Any luck to finding painkillers. Frank Schmack. <laughs> he doesn't scare me. Hey, I saw some booze. But he has something in his hand. He got wine in his hand. How the hell are you even able to bottle that bottle of wine? Easy, bro. Every time I see Frank, I hide it down the front of my pants. I was here before Frank got here, and when he showed up and started scooping up all of the booze, I threw this baby down my pants. See, like, I'm so halfway through it, and I'm feeling good. Like, something like that you will, swim? like, how, how <laughs> the fuck you gonna tell me that I can't drink? That I can't drink? How's it going, dude? Staying away from the alcohol? Alcohol, what do you think about Catherine? But What do you think about Catherine? Dude, she's so hot. I'd give my left nut for a night with her. My nigga a snitch. He talking about Patrick got a bottle of wine. I'm gonna fuck his shit up. I'll get the pop to him. I wanna see this. Damn, he moving. Oh. Oh my god. Jesus. Y'all just gonna stare at him? See my nigga getting that knocked out like that. Damn, you just got knocked out, cuz. I wonder if I can give this to do to um Frank. Let me see. 
Whoa, dude. Where'd you find that? Thanks for bringing this to my attention. Your efforts won't go unnoticed. Just doing my part, Frank. This nigga. How's it going, my dude? dude? A hole, bro. Staying away from the alcohol? Patrick called you an ass licking fart monkey. Up shit. Can you tell me stories about me? What? You want me to rock you to bed too, baby boy? Aw, trats. I forgot the pacifier for little snuggums boogums at home. Okay, so you're just a bitch. No shit. What a strange, needy creature you are. Still, you haven't definitively crossed me yet tonight. So, sure, why not? I overheard Derek talking to someone when he first got here about having been arrested with you a couple years ago. Something about public indecency? <laughs> Color me shocked. How old are you? Sounds plausible. What do you say next? Don't rush me, you underdeveloped yet tragically overgrown fetus. Moving along, Why is your phone you in your, that you two were your caught on a third floor balcony while trying to see who could hiss as far and true as an elf ranger's longbow. <sighs> Honestly, I tuned out right there as merely allowing those words to reach my ears likely vaporized half my social circle. You're a general, general woman and a scholar. This bitch weird, bro. Dude, can you believe Frank? Like, I know my cousin is an idiot dickhead perv, but Patrick means well. It's just the alcohol getting to him. Frank can't just go knocking people out in the middle of our party. It's bullshit. bullshit. See you later. I can't even say nothing back. Can, uh, where's, what else I need to do? So I still needed to give dude the pills. Um, oh, let me say. Again. Are you lost? So, Brynn, you won't come out to study? So, do you want love me? I met your sister, Ashley. She's up to something. I know it. Typical little sister, right? I'm kind of nervous, though, because this is my party. And if she pulls something here, it would be really embarrassing for me. Um. So, I hear Derek telling tales about me. <laughs> Indeed, he was. Between you and me, it was the only non awkward conversation him and I have had all night. But that's... anyway, you're quite the wild one, aren't you? I mean, replacing all the sparkling cider bottles with actual booze at your school's graduation ceremony is one thing. But swapping them out for apple-flavored Kentucky moonshine? That's hardcore, man. Did someone really almost go blind from the stuff? I wouldn't be no shit I do. Hell Damn, yeah, Frank. I wish I went to high school with you. All right. Well, hopefully you've got some more stories like that you can Wait, tell me sometime. Can I? Can or I? Why not start making some new ones here tonight? Just Ooh. saying. Can I smash her? Cause isn't this Derek's girl? Well, maybe apparently I'm a goddamn story making machine. This her phone, right, Madison? Phone. Oh, gee, you found my phone. Thanks so much. So is there a reward for your phone? I feel like a kiss or something is ordered. No problem. Do I want to risk it and just say something crazy and see what I'm gonna see what she say? Hi, aren't you a bold one? I suppose you did sort of save the day. I'll tell you what. Help me play a prank on my sister, and there might be more than just a kiss waiting for you when we're done. If you catch my drift. Oh, you fast, hell to the year. I'm your guy. How do I get started? Okay, so here's the deal. I already accidentally spilled some beer all over Ashley. I locked my clothes away so she can't find something else to wear. My plan is to first get her to think her only option is to strip down and wash her clothes. Once we have her clothes in the washer, then we just need to force her out and parade her around naked to all of the party guests. Talk so to Ashley and see if you can get her to trust you enough to take her clothes and wash them. Then figure out a way to get her out of wherever she decides to hide. Got it. So, hold on. To a person. Isn't that what you What's in here? Okay, so that's beer. So I probably gotta give this to the Frank dude. What is this? So maybe he'll let me get alcohol if I'm bullshit. That's why I only invited my friend. Shit, another one? You, sir, 
are a great asset to my cause, and your loyalty to me is noted. There's not a single. How's it going, dude? Staying away from the alcohol. Like Darvish might say. They call an exterminator. When I was outside, I stepped on something that looked awfully like a snakeskin. I tell Madison, but you know she'd freak. Credit card, huh? Let me get that. No, don't tell Madison. That's obviously. Oh hell no! What the fuck is wrong with you? I invite you to this party and you walk around and steal shit. I thought we were friends, man. You're dead, asshole. Whoa! Can I not move or? What, you just gonna beat my ass? Don't worry. Hello again. That song he's playing reminds me of uh, Panic on Disco. You wouldn't be having that to You wouldn't happen to know why Derek seems now, would you? You didn't hear? His little brother got busted with meth. It was on the news and everything. Poor Derek had to be the one to bail him out of jail and handle the entire situation. He pretty much raised that kid. Derek's pretty broken. It's bad. Let me talk to Derek, Dan. Because now show is watching a story right now. I can tell Derek, like, why the, why you didn't tell me that? You should know I do. I'm dope. Him for the first time in Woodfield. Hey, how's it going, buddy? Hey, Amy, she was looking for you. You and Madison, anything happening? Maybe I got to talk to her. What's up? You having a good time? You can thank Sensei Frank and I for that. All down first. It's probably pretty sticky. Yeah. Hey again. How's it going? I want to try something real quick. Hey again, how's it going? I saw tr Frank checking out your ass. Oh wait, that was me. I want to say this, but I feel like she gonna go off on me. Oh, stop it. Oh, she didn't. <laughs> You're funny. So, um, I would never guess you're hotter than I want to say she's hotter than her, too. Let me see. Oh, thanks. That's really sweet. That's a nice room. I can see the ambulance. Anybody down to play some spin the brothel? Nothing kicks. Did you need something? I feel like the word need is using. Okay, that was actually slightly philosophical. You might actually have a brain hiding in there somewhere. Oh. Yeah, it's my boyfriend. He's supposed to meet me here, but he's being a dick. Your boyfriend is a detective. That's cool. Who would ever be a dick to you, ever? That's actually kind of sweet. I wish he felt the same way. I could use a drink. You know what? I may take you up on that after all against my better judgment. My boyfriend is still being a dickwad. Cool. I'll see what I can do. Yeah. Um, how do we go from talking about the Renaissance Fair to you telling Did you need something? For being a dick, that boyfriend's blessed in her phone. How's it going, dude? Staying away from the alcohol? I'm going. So you're gonna just sit there and guard the alcohol. So you're just gonna sit there and guard the alcohol, huh? I gathered it all up into this cabinet so it's nice and easy to keep watch of it. I'm just waiting for somebody to try something. I think he Did wanted Catherine. Something? Frank is guarding all the alcohol. Yeah, I noticed he's being his typical douchebag self tonight. Kind of douche if you can come up with a way around him, let me know and I'll hop out if I can. So, let me see something. How's it going, dude? Right, Stay I've been chatting with Catherine. She wants me to put a good word for you. Nah, 
I pretty much know I got zero chance with her, but she seems to like you. Maybe you can help me out after all. If you could get her to take a topless pick for me, maybe I'll look the other way if you snag some of this alcohol. I wouldn't do that, though. Sounds like a deal on me. punk. Okay, so I just gotta tell her. Did you need something? So Frank said I can grab some booze if you take a pocket pick of you, a topless pick of you. Please say okay. That fucking douchebag. Well, what the fuck? I'm not just going to strip off in the middle of this party with all of these people around. And the cell phone service in this house is spotty at best. I have way too many important text messages going on, and I seem to get the best reception here. Figure that shit out if you want a titty picture of me. Oh, that's fucking uh, trip down. Uh, cell phone service. Uh. Damn. How's it going, dude? Staying away from the alcohol? Give her this. Ah. Did you need something? So what kind of drinks? So how? I'll take that top of this pick from me. Are you blind, shithead? There's too many people around. I'm not just going to strip down right here. Oh yeah. Being a fucking giant bitch. Yeah, I should want to make sure. Don't you wonder why there's a pile of fresh dirt? How's it going, brah? Any luck finding pay? No way, brah. Thanks for tipping me off to it. Can I turn this damn speaker off, bro? I've got the moves, baby. Derek, you don't understand. I could have turned that off. Where did the music go? I wish I knew how to work these things. Electronics are so confusing. Now I've got to have Madison turn it back on. Her beauty sleep that if I'm ever talking. Yo, you see how Steph stepped up to help Amy? She doesn't even know that chick. Pretty cool of her. I need, I need Catherine to get somewhere private. Oh yeah? You and Kat? I never thought anybody would be able to break through that wall of ice. Nice job, buddy. Well, she's glued to that phone. If you could somehow mess with her phone reception, maybe she'd pick another place to hang out. I'm trying, I'm trying to find my... Dude, what the fuck? I invite you to my friend's party and you're going through her shit? There better be a good reason for this. I'm writing a memoir. Um, boobs? You're right. Boobs. Well, why didn't you just say that in the first place? It's gotta be in her closet safe. I know Madison writes down her passcode to it because she changes it all the time. I would check around in her room for clues. Oh, in her room. So it's a passcode in the room. Okay. Still Thanks, buddy. Alright, y'all. So I'm gonna end the episode right here. Um... So we got a few things that we got to do. I got to mess with the reception so I can get Catherine to get to another room so she can take the picture. So I can get to the alcohol so I can get everybody drunk and we can really get stuff started. Um, I got to get uh, Madison. I got to get a, her diary so I can get that to Ashley so we can get Ashley to trust me so I can get back to Madison so we can pull a prank on her so I can get with Madison. Um... If you want to see me keep playing this game, leave a like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at jstudiogaming, and with that being said, peace. See me out, don't take a pic, that's offensive, still wish I took that advice, better listen, don't get why they hate, I ain't choose to be gifted, ain't serving no more, but at times I still miss it, yeah. And I think they notice, 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 I think they notice.